Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB. A spoiler review this time around. Let's jump right into it. I really enjoy the idea of the beginning of the movie where you see Deadpool. He's hired to go out there and kill bad people. In fact, I love that. I want to see more of that though. The one shot in particular that I kept seeing in almost every teaser and trailer was him coming out of the casket at that funeral and shooting everyone in, or at least whoever he had to shoot. And every time I saw that in the trailer, I thought, what's going on there? I can't wait to see that scene. And it probably goes by in like 15 seconds. Like it's really, really fast. They kill Vanessa. And I was so upset to see them kill Vanessa, not just because I like Marina Baccarin, she's a great actress, and I, but I just, more so because I loved her relationship with Deadpool, Wade Wilson. I love how much alike they were. I've rewatched Deadpool 1 before seeing this, and just seeing the two of them connect, seeing just how much they completed each other. It, it sucked. It felt like a, a sad cliche of the main love interest from the first movie, gets killed off not only gets killed off in the second movie but gets killed off at the very beginning of the movie i was happy that there were moments where deadpool was somehow able to uh, visit her or see her in the spirit world and have those moments with her at least then we could keep marina back when there i understand deadpool himself as a character he can't be a character that settles down gets married has a kid like he was talking about it's just, it's not practical. It's not, doesn't make sense for Deadpool to go in that direction. So maybe in that way, it does make sense for her to die. It's just, it was still sad. The shot where you see Beast closing the door on him and you see Quicksilver, you see Xavier, and I need to see the movie again to see who else is in that shot. But it was great. The Russell kid and the fact that the whole movie becomes about Deadpool trying to save him. It almost becomes the plot of Looper, where Deadpool has to save this one kid before he's executed by somebody from the future, like Cable, because Cable says that this kid is going to grow up to become evil, to do some heinous things, kill his family, no less. So, sure, it was interesting, sure, I liked it, but it felt like a plot that I have seen quite a few times, maybe even Terminator 2, even though he doesn't become a villain, but still, it's you have seen this before. Deadpool and Russell end up in prison. I actually thought they were going to do more prison stuff with Deadpool. You think the character Deadpool and his mouth and the trash talking and everything that he does, seeing him in a prison with a bunch of like horrible people and the things he could say, I thought it would be funnier. I did. It was fine. One of the biggest laughs, at least for me, was when Cable said, who are you? And he goes, I'm Batman <laughs> just because I've read like two or three different stories in the comic books of Deadpool saying I'm Batman and it's always funny uh, I just love that he sort of has a thing for Batman it's Juggernaut now I remember th that there were rumors about Juggernaut being in the movie and being the main villain I don't really know how those rumors got out I guess somebody maybe just told or said something but I was still surprised it was just it was something I wasn't even really thinking of and then when he showed up I thought he looked great I thought the effect, I mean, sure, there might have been one or two moments where it was CGIE with him, but they made him big and ginormous in the size that he should be. Uh, he looked a lot be better, a hell of a lot better than he did in X-Men The Last Stand for X-Force. I was shocked that X-Force all got killed <laughs> with that, besides Domino. I'm talking about everyone, even Peter in a horrible, horrible way. The Invisible Man, the fact that it was Brad Pitt was one of the funniest and best cameos. Deadpool dying, I was surprised because I felt like they were already making jokes about Logan and, and Wolverine dying and Hugh Jackman's an asshole for dying. When he actually does have the collar, takes the bullet for the kid, I like that he does end up saving the kid. Even though a part of me thought it would have been funny if he just said you know what this isn't working this kid was a dick and or becoming a dick and so if he just shoots the kid in the head himself that would kind of be funny but the fact that he's successful in doing it was nice the moment of him reuniting with Vanessa in the other world was also nice but him having to go back 
I like the idea if they present Vanessa from this point on as the representation of death to Deadpool. Because in the comics, Deadpool is in love with death or at least fascinated with death, similar to the way Thanos is. Just Deadpool isn't a dick and doesn't try to kill everyone. But still, there is something there. And if you don't, obviously you're probably not going to do that in the movies or death but if you have her represent that somebody who is dead and from that world now and he's always sort of waiting to go to her cable i guess the two of them got close enough to where he would give up his last time travel i'm not sure if i buy that he would give up going back home the after credit scene of deadpool using this time travel device going back in time and not only saving some of the members of X-Force, I thought that was just a nice touch. It was nice to see Peter alive again. But for him to go back and kill Weapon 11 version of Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine, it was hilarious. That got the biggest laugh from me specifically because I hated what they did to Deadpool in that film. And I love that it seems like Ryan Reynolds hated it just as much when he then uses it to go and kill Ryan Reynolds after he reads the script of Green Lantern and is happy about doing it and Deadpool comes and shoots him in the back of the head. That was very funny as well and that probably got the bigger laugh but for me him killing Weapon 11 was just it almost made it a better than sex. It almost just those two moments alone almost put this movie over the top. It's still a full price though. So guys Spoiler time here. Let's talk about Deadpool 2. What did you think of it? What did you love about it? What maybe did you not care for or didn't love as much? Do you like it better than the first one? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!